Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another MapPilot tutorial video. My name is Jay. In this video, we're going to learn how to create this uh, group bar graph using the MapPilot library in Python. So let's take a look at the graph that we'll be creating in this video. So let me expand uh, the window a little bit. So from this bar graph, we have two uh, different groups. One is the male average score and the other one is the female average score. Actually, let me show you the the data set so you understand how does the chart represents and where the information is coming from so from this website kaggle.com uh, kaggle is one of the largest online community website that for data scientists and different professions that work with data lots that a lot of people will post their projects and on this website and basically to us like an open source to share their ideas and uh, their work and for this data set, I'm using this data set students performance in exam. And so if I scroll down towards the bottom, so here's a snapshot of what the data set looks like. So if you uh, have an account and it is free to register for an account and you can download the data set as a CSV file. And so here I already downloaded the file. Let me open the, the CSV file so you can take a look. So from the data set, we have, uh, let's see, we have eight columns. And here we have the math score, reading score, and the writing score. And so I'll be using the gender column um, as the, for the grouping. So uh, the blue bar represents the male average score, and the orange bar represents the female average score for different uh, test scores. So I'll highlight the columns so you have so you can uh, take a look. All right now, let me close the file. So here on the bottom, the x-axis, we have three different categories. So the math score category, reading and writing. And on the left hand side, we have the y-axis, and that basically represents the score from zero to a hundred. And here we have the legend. The legend basically tells readers that uh, for each bar, what's the, the population. So for this exercise, I'll be using the NumPy module and the Pandas module and as well as the, the Matplotlib module. So I'm going to start by creating a different object and the different object is going to uh, store the, the route data. So I'm going to read the CSV file. And let me, let me just make sure that the data is import correctly. Right, so that works pretty good. And next we need, I'm going to create my sub uh, list object. So the list object is going to uh, contain the, the score groups. So we have math score, reading score, and uh, writing score. So here I don't want to use counts. Let me go back to Kaggle. So here if we look at the top, so we have the summary of the data set. The female population represents 52% of the total population and the male population represents 48%. So that's why we cannot use counts. So if I want to get the average score of uh, male and female uh, population based on these three columns, so what I can do is I can use the group by method. And this is going to be based on gender column. And I'll pass the sub list. And I, want, and I want to get the main. So here, let's call this uh, the the output data set object. Now, if I print the data set object, and here's the the output. So we have three columns: math score, reading score, and the writing score. Oops. And for female and the male. And next, I'm going to create index object. The index object is going to be used uh, kind of like the the position identifier. Later on, when I need to insert the 
x-axis labels. We know we have three school uh, groups, so math, reading, and writing. So I can uh, use the length function to get the total size. And if I print index uh, object, let me, click, let me delete that. And that's going to return a, a, a list with 0, 1, and 2. Okay, so the next thing I mean, I'm going to create is the label. So here we know that uh, the score is always going to be between 0 and 100. So let's go ahead and create our uh, score label. And I also need to add the score for the male uh, test taker. So I'm going to name this uh, variable male means. And from the data set object, I'm going to transpose the table first. And I want to grab the, the male column. And this is going to be female. So let me just print the, the data set and dot t. So I'm going to transpose the data. So you can see what the table looks like. And this is the, the transpose uh, view. So we have female and male columns now. And we put the score on the left. That's the row index. Now we need to create our group bar graph. Here I want to set the bar width as uh, 0.35. And I'm going to use the, the plot pipeline module, the subplots uh, method to, oops, subplots. And to create my figure and the axis objects. Here I want to grab the bar for the male population first. I'm going to call the, the output as uh, bar male. Using the x object and the bar method. And here I'm going to take the index object minus bar with minus 2. And I'll pass the, the male add score. And I'll pass the, the bar width. And because we're inserting legend, so we need to create, we need to provide value for the label. So I'll call this male means. And the first uh, parameter is the index position. And because we're putting the, the bars side by side with the female population, so we need to actually move the bar graph to the left a little bit. So that means when we graph the female uh, bars, so we're going to plus the bar width divided by 2. Here I want to provide the female average score, so female means. And I'm going to set the bar width to uh, 30, 0.35. And for the label, I'm going to type female means. Now if I just graph the, the plot, and here's the typo, so, oh, okay, so here's the typo. And this the, so this is what we have so far. We have the male at school bar and the female at school bar. And if we look at the, the chart uh, overall, it means it's not perfect yet because on the left hand side, we have very little space uh, on the top. And we know that the score can be from 0 to 100. Ideally, it should be displaying all the uh, possible values, uh, either on the x axis and the y axis. And from the x axis labels, right now the label are uh, just uh, function numbers. It doesn't tell the reader any types of information. So let me close the, the window and let's uh, modify the graph. I'm going to take the AX option and this is a method called set X ticks. And we're going to provide the index uh, object first. And next we want to provide the label names. 
and I'll pass the sub just list. And for the y axis label, I'm going to uh, pass the score label. Because the score label is already the index position and the label itself, so we can just do set y tick labels. And we'll pass the score label list. And here I want to insert the, the legend. Now let's see what we have so far. Alright, now everything looks much better. So here on the top, we have the legend. And on the bottom, we have the different uh, score grouping. So remember before I told you that, like, uh, about the y-axis label. We want to show all the possible values. And sometimes you may even need to extend the value a little bit more. Just because here if we, I mean, we move the, the y-axis label. And because on the top, there are not enough uh, free space, the legend is covering a portion of the, the bar graph for the uh, writing school uh, female uh, population. And that's something that we don't want. So here, let me put that back. And now the chart looks a lot more clean. So here on the top, we have enough uh, empty space that we can freely insert the, the legend. Oh, actually, let me put that back. So here, the last thing we need to do is we need to insert the, the data label. So this is the part that I dislike the most, just because with Miplalib, inserting data label is actually not as quite easy as uh, people would think. So here, I'm going to uh, Insert loop, so for i in index, I want to use the annotated uh, method. And so here we want to display the, the label text. And I want to display the average score with zero decimal point. And this is going to be for the male population. So I want to grab the elements for each uh, item. And get heights. And under the XY parameter, uh, this is the coordinate that I want to insert the, the data label. So bar mail. I'm going to reference the, the elements based on the index value. Get X plus bar mail you want to add the, the bar width and divide by 2 and for the y value it's going to be bar mail you want to use the get heights value to grab the, the y value And I want to offset the label vertically by uh, three pixel points uh, under the XY text parameter. I'm going to provide a tuple. I don't want to offset the X position, but I do want to move the Y position uh, by three points. And for the text corner type, it's going to be offset points. And for the horizontal alignment, so I want to align the center. And for the vertical alignment, I want to set that to button. All right, now that's for the male. And for the female, I'll have to do the same. But I need to change the reference. So it's going to be bar female.
Right now, so that's the AV sync uh, in terms of writing the, the Python script. Now, let me display the graph. And here I forgot the close parenthesis, not the close, the close bracket. What's the issue here? Let's see. Oh. Okay, so, uh, okay, so here uh, the label is not aligned correctly. So let me just double check. Oh, and here's the issue. So I'm extra. Uh... Okay, now that, that's the that's the result we want. And this is the final part, guys. So here we have the legend and the data label. And on the bottom, we have different groups, uh, labels. And on the left hand side, we have the y axis value from 0 to 100. So this is one more thing that we can do. So let's say I want to use this code right here. So this push up code. I'm going to convert that to a function. In case if I need to create something similar and I don't want to spend that much time uh, retyping everything. So here I'm going to name this function insert data label, labels. And let's uh, call our parameter boss. So I'll indent this block of code. And I'm going to name this a boss. So for bar and boss. And I'm going to create a variable to get the bar height. And I'll replace uh, all the, the list element with bar height. And let me fix some of the typos. So this should be bar. And this, will, and this should also be bar. So only this one right here is bar height. And so since this is already a bar height value, so I don't need to uh, reference the bar height. Now to use this function, so what we can do is we can call the function at the end, inserting insert data label. It will pass the bar objects, so bar male and bar female. If I launch, the, if I display the graph, and it's all oh, it should be labels. And here's the same outputs. Well, uh, retyping everything for the data labels. So this is everything I'm going to cover in this video. And hopefully you guys found the video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.